Hello everybody, it's Vern. Uh, how's it going? Long time no vlog. Uh, the last couple of PT updates have been text-based, uh, but uh, I find myself at an interesting time in my life uh, where I've got all the time in the world and I've got plenty of time to sit down and ramble in front of a camera and I've got plenty of time to lightly edit me rambling in front of a camera and I've got plenty of time to export me rambling to the camera and uploading me rambling to a camera to the on to the internet so uh, we're doing a vlog for the first time uh, for those of you who have not been following the text-based updates on pet turtles uh, I'll give you all a recap uh, the recap is we've got music <laughs> And we've got some color uh, grading going on. Uh, exciting times for myself and for the movie. Um, the uh, So we got music for the movie, uh, and it's beautiful music. Uh, the first time I heard uh, this music, uh, I, I just wept, just cried like a little baby because it was so pretty, and it, and it recontextualized... Uh, what I think about pet turtles and how I feel about the movie and what it means to me and all this stuff. It's just a, uh, some of the just really gorgeous music. Uh, and uh, the fact that it was such beautiful music and the fact that this uh, beautiful music is going to be attached to this movie that I think is beautiful and that means so much to me was just an overwhelming experience. Uh, so I just really, really, I cried a lot. Um, Granted, I'm an easy cry, but still, uh, it was it was powerful for me, you know. Uh, and I'm already veering off track with what I wanted to uh, to say in this vlog. Um, but uh, this movie, you know, of course, my dog's here. That was her. Um, this movie means so much to me, uh, and has meant so much to me for a long time. And there's just been a lot of times during the making of this movie where. Uh, I've been moved and overwhelmed by the talent of the folks that want to be involved with this movie. Um, I remember seeing a Celebration. It was a musical that Larry, uh, Larry King, uh, who plays Becky in Pet Turtles, was in. I remember seeing Celebration live after she like signed on to be in Pet Turtles. Uh, and she she came out and she was singing and it was... Uh, and I was just blown away. I already knew she was talented, but just like to see just like how much talent she had and know that like this person with this amount of talent wants to be in my thing was really powerful for me. Um, and uh, and seeing some of the images that, uh, that Forrest, our cinematographer and our colorist has created, has uh, brought out that same level of emotion for me. Just seeing how attractive this movie looks and and seeing that you know Forrest is so 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 talented and he wanted to uh, provide his talents for this movie uh was uh similarly just like evocative uh it brought out uh all these like emotions and so uh the music has done this for me recently I'm in a weird space with the music um where the the folks that are providing the music are signed to a record label. Uh, they're big time. <laughs> and uh, I'm uh, wanting to be careful about how much I can express, how how much of their involvement, involvement I can share with you all. Because I don't want to put them in a spot where they're like record labels upset with me or upset with them. Um, not that like... <laughs> they snuck around and did a score for the movie, but I just want to make sure they're comfortable uh, with me just blabbering about them uh, before I blabber about them. <laughs> uh, but if you know me and you follow me online and you see the things I post, you can probably read between the lines and find out who the musicians attached to this movie are. Um, and... If you've heard their music, uh, you could see why I would be excited, and you could see why yourself should be excited. Um, but we got 
three fourths of the score done. Uh, they this band is providing four songs for the movie, and we have three of them, uh, and they're beautiful. Uh, and I'm really, really, really excited about that. Uh, and the other thing, as I said, uh, the film is getting color graded right now. Um, I was just in Missouri uh, a week ago, and uh, I visited my my dear dear friend Forrest, and he showed me. Previously, I'd only seen screen caps of the movie, but Forrest showed me entire scenes with the color grade attached to them. And uh, this is going to sound stupid and infantile, but it's my my God's honest reaction was I was just seeing these images with the color grade. I'm just seeing these already already amazing images, but now with this color grade that Forrest attached to them, and I could not like shake this feeling of like oh my god, this looks like a real movie. And it is a real movie. It's been a real movie for a long time now. Um, but there's a difference between, like, seeing is believing, I guess. <laughs> uh, I've always believed it to be a real movie, but just, like, seeing what it looks like now uh, is just amazing. Because for the longest time, like, I've been editing a very low-res, very poor-quality copy of the movie, and that's all I've had as the... Uh, as a visual for the movie, so like, uh, <laughs> uh, seeing the, uh, I've seen the movie with like no makeup <laughs> for years and years and years, and like, so seeing the movie all dolled up and looking nice was uh, amazing. Um, I can, uh, I might post some of the, uh, the screen caps to go along with this, like I'll have them pop up um, with this, the ones I've already shared uh, online. Uh, just so you can see what I'm talking about uh, if you only follow me through vlogs. And based on the view count, you don't. <laughs> it's fine. I do this for me, not for you. Um, <laughs> uh, I'll throw some of those up there so you can see what I'm talking about. Uh, and the interesting uh, and fun and amazing thing about the screen caps with of pet turtles that I have shared is that um, these screen caps are works in progress. Uh, which means the final film will look different. And in there, the screen caps already look amazing, but the final versions will look even more amazing. It's mind-blowing. Uh, I'm, I'm a very... Uh, life's been a little rough for Vern lately. <laughs> uh, I've, I've faced a lot of hardships in the past... Since, sep since September... Uh, September on has been uh, really rough for me, um, and I've really struggled uh, lately. Um, but uh, things like what the movie looks like now and what the movie sounds like now, attached with the fact that there you know, is a movie at all, uh, are things that are, I'm really grateful for, uh, I'm really privileged to have, uh, and they are things that remind me that, like, Things aren't always always things aren't always as bad as they feel. Um, there's always a silver lining, and things are uh, always better than than you might make them out to be. I'm very lucky to have um, to have a movie in the first place, uh, to have been able to shoot a movie and shoot a thing that means so much to me, um, to have been able to edit a thing that means so much to me, and to have so much talent attached to it, uh, and a uh, to have a movie that uh, has not only been shot and has been edited, but like is going to uh, look visually exceeds my expectations and audibly uh, exceeds my expectations. It's very nice. I'm very lucky. I'm very privileged. And uh, the knowledge of that and the reminder of those things has been a nice respite from uh, what's been going on uh, in my personal life. Anyway. <laughs> um... Apart from that, you know, we're still we're working on it. Um, I've got lots and lots of time to. Uh, previously, uh, I have had to uh, steal time from my real life, from my personal life, to to work on pet turtles, and I don't have to do that anymore. So, um, uh, uh, fingers crossed. That means the process speeds up, which is great. Uh, and things move faster, which is great because this thing has been slow. Um, but now, uh, 
I've got all the time in the world <laughs> to uh, to uh, to work on the movie and to work on other things. Um, uh, this vlog has a little bit of uh, you know like effort put into how it looks visually, uh, and that's because I had time for that. Uh, and there's all sorts of things, um, both related to pet turtles and unrelated to pet turtles, that are coming down the pipeline right now. Uh, that have only been possible because of you know, the time I've got now. So, you know, there's silver linings. There's, uh, there's good with the bad. And, uh, you know, in a perfect world, I wouldn't be in a situation where I have to actively look for silver linings <laughs> to bad situations. But uh, having silver linings that, that I've, I've found and that were easy to find uh, uh, is cool. I'm very fortunate. Um, so yeah, anyway, that's what's been going on with me. Uh, I hope that you all are doing well. Uh, I hope that, uh, you know that I'm trying, uh, both, trying to both take care of myself, but also finish all these projects. Uh, you know, uh, I can only do so much, but, uh, I am trying and I hope you guys know that. Uh, and I hope you know that, um, you know, I, uh, I make art and make things that uh, are meaningful to me, um, uh, but things that I think could also be meaningful to you. And uh, I know this has taken a long time, way longer than any of us would have liked, way longer than I would have liked, but um, it's all, in the, uh, all towards making the thing better. So that it will, there's my dog. Uh, all towards making the thing better so that it will resonate more with you whenever you watch it. Um, we're trying, folks. We're making things happen. Anyway, that's what's going on with uh, me. Uh, hope you all are do doing well. Uh, if you're watching this whenever I post it, or shortly after I post it, or, uh, or in the thick of the holiday season, uh, the holidays, like the big holidays, the the gift giving holidays are coming up. The ones that you spend with families are coming up. And uh, I don't know about you all, but those are super hard for me. Uh, <laughs> so um, if they're hard for you, please know that I'm pulling for you. Uh, we're gonna get through these uh, through this holiday mess uh, and we'll return to normalcy very soon. Um, so if you struggle during the holidays like I do, uh, please know that you're not alone and please know that I'm, I'm pulling for you. Uh, and I hope you're pulling for me, but I don't blame you if you don't. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, take care of yourself. Uh, let's buckle down and get through this holiday season. Uh, and uh, please know that uh, there's some cool movie things and some cool things that are not related to the movie coming towards your way uh, really soon. Uh, next year, which sounds like far away, but it is not far away. It's less than, it's like 31 days away. Um, anyway, uh, I'm going to shut up because I'm running out of steam here. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're taking care of yourself. I hope you know that uh, uh, you're my friend and I, and I enjoy talking with you. Uh, I'll talk to you later. Peace out. Bye.